This is a build video for a 500mm by 60mm square fuselage tube for the twin boom. So I'm cutting out a piece of Depron 240mm wide and covering with new stuff or um, document laminating film. Just cut out a piece slightly larger than the piece of Depron. This is the, the thicker 3mm uh, film which is nice and strong. Iron it on with a warm iron, not full heat, just sort of wall setting or half heat. Just keep the iron moving, uh, you need to be careful with Depron, otherwise you can melt it. Adds a lot of strength to the, to the uh, build. Trim off the excess. Now I'm marking um, where the corner folds will go at the 60, 120 and 180 millimeter marks and on the sides that are going to be the side walls you mark back in the thickness of the foam from each mark. Now you just half cut along those lines, don't cut all the way through and then uh, pinch out that um, 6 mil uh, piece of foam Now, hot glue along the edge of the uh, the piece that'll be the top or the bottom, which is the wider piece. And fold it up to a 90 degree angle and just hold there until the glue sets. And you continue on for all the other joins, just making sure it sets at 90 degrees for a nice square 60 millimeter tube. And then the final final one you do both sides at the same time. You can just do one at a time if you want. And I'm just uh, getting that little overlap bit of plastic out of the way so I can glue it down. Then hold it down, make sure it's nice and square, and there it is, that's the 60mm tube. So now I'm doing the uh, reinforcing uh, patches for the tie-down rods, which is just a ID card, cut into four. Trim off the corners uh, and then drill a hole for the um, tie down rods to pass through. I'm using 5mm carbon fibre tubes for this one, so it's a 5mm hole. Make sure it fits, that's all good. Uh, I'm just sanding up the, uh, the film layer a little bit, and I've already sanded up those um, little patches as well, just helps with the hot glue to adhere. Uh, it's a 190mm uh, wing, so I'm making sure there's 190mm between where the tie-down rods will go. Trying it out for fit. It's all good. Just a little bit of hot glue to stop it from falling out. Doesn't need much there. Uh, now this is the uh, motor mount reinforcing patch another ID card and I'm going to fold it over the uh, edges of the fuselage and uh, it sort of passes around the tie down rods as well just for extra strength that's an area that can um, break away with repeated hard landings and vibrations from the motor just bend it over with a pair of long nose pliers and hot glue it into place makes a nice uh, secure mounting point for the motor. Now I'm going to double sided tape the uh, motor mount on. Here it is already made up, just roughen it up with sandpaper again for a bit of extra grip. Strong double sided tape. off the backing which is not that easy actually and stick it down into position just make sure it's nice and straight then uh, 
here I'm loctiting down the motor mounting bolts blue loctite which you can undo and some extra reinforcement for that mount with the, some clear gaffer tape fitted the ESC and wired it all up and we're ready to go pretty much uh, there's my standard soft foam nose cone slash battery holder you can easily taper up the nose and the uh, rear section of the fuselage if you want to but I've left this one square for the moment